Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will be showing you all how to perform an action like this and have breakable walls and structures. You can customize this even more. Let's say if I move it somewhere like this, so that side will not break. And yeah, very handy, very useful tool. And very easy to integrate so hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's dive in straight into the video so let's begin so firstly uh, let's choose the asset which we need so for this purpose I'll be using let's let's use this wall so I'll be demonstrating on this so what we want is the character ram through the center of the wall and some of the parts that's fracture and break. Let's do a clean implementation. Uh, we will do professionally and yeah, let's begin. So first thing, uh, once you have your object placed, uh, if you're using Unreal 5.7, uh, chaos is automatically enabled and you'll see the fracture tab here or else enable the Chaos Solver plugin. Yeah, you need to enable this. All right. So inside Fracture, uh, with the object selected, uh, let's create a new geometry collection asset. So I'll make a new folder here for Fracture. I'll name this wall GAC underscore wall it and you will see uh, it will apply the fracture to it now first thing we want to create chunks so that it breaks so you have various types over here uh, for R you can either use cluster or uniform I usually find uniform the best so get that you can see it breaks it apart so if you are happy with how big the pieces are you can move forward if you're not for example right now uh, I want it to break into even tinier chunks so I'll increase the minimum and maximum Voronoi sites you see this one As you can see it's generated more chunks now and now let's say I'm happy I can fracture this that's all you need to do with this tab. Now go to your selection. You'll see an editor. If I simulate, okay, it's standing. That's why nothing is happening. If I just probably tilt it a bit and simulate, you can see it breaks. If I increase the height, probably. Image, it doesn't matter since we are not going to make it fall from top and yeah so the fracture is working next thing we want is a way to break this so first thing let's add our damage field so create new blueprint class and inside all classes you can search for field and you'll find this master field you can even do radial field let's use master field for now and i'll name this fs underscore master field let's just drag it inside by default increase the size a bit and now if i simulate Okay, sorry, you keep it somewhere like this since it's in a different mode right now. I'll just keep it here. And if I simulate, you can see it applies damage over there. If I keep it somewhere like this. So, yeah, applies pressure and then the whole thing breaks. So, but and uh, now if I let's say change it. The activation type to on tick 
and just simulate if I move this you can see yeah so just simulating it and now if I move this a bit, so I need to move it a bit here all right that you see all right so now that that is working what we want is uh, clean some anchors so so that the wall doesn't break from that so again make a new class you can type in anchor so we need this anchor field generic this will work for now i'll name it fa underscore wall anchor drag it inside you see this yellow debugging so place it where and increase the size on parts and overlap it on parts from where you don't want the wall to break for example let's say i put it here next select your actor and inside the details, you'll find this initialization fields. Add one. We'll select this. Now, if I let's say keep it somewhere here. You see this part stands. So it doesn't take much from here. So yeah, okay, next, so what we want is actually to break it just from the center, so I'll, <coughs> excuse me, sorry for that, so I'll uh, duplicate this, put it in another corner and duplicate one more time and place it somewhere around the top somewhere like this now add two more elements to the initialization fields and select them so let's check now how it looks I'll keep this here and see all three sides are standing if you feel it's not breaking, let's increase the size a bit and check. See, kind of what I like. All right. So now, how do we implement this on the character? That's our next thing. So I already have an animation which I downloaded from Mixamo. So what the purpose is, so when you press a button and if the player headbutts on the ball, it falls. So let's do that. So in the animation, I have my root motion on. So first thing, I'm going to create a montage. And just name this montage underscore RAM. Next thing, in my player skeleton, on the head, we are going to add a new socket. Let's name this head socket by default, that's fine. Now, last thing, what I want to make is a anim notify. Is it in the win class? I forgot, sorry for that. Anim, anim notify state, this is what we want. So select that, I'll name this RAM state, open this up and over here in functions, if you click override, we will receive notify tick and from here, what we'll do is from meshcom, we'll do get, get socket location, this will be our head socket uh, make sure it matches the 
case matches the same as you have here. It is very case sensitive. Next thing I am going to do is uh, spawn. Let's see if we have spawn actor from class. We don't. Mm. All right. If we don't have that, let's see if that's that in the begin. Spawn AI, yeah, spawn AI. Yeah. All right, if it's not there, it's fine. Open up your montage and let's pick a point that we want to spawn, probably somewhere here. And I'll add a notify. I create this a new notify. This will be spawn damage. I'll just name it something like that. New notify. Little damage spawn, and next thing, somewhere over here, I'll add another notify, and this will be damage despawn. Now, uh, inside your animation blueprint, so if you're using the default third person, it's ABP anam, or you can use your own. Come into your event graph. I'll do spawn uh, damage event notify damage spawn and over here you can just take your character reference which will already be there. And we can do class to third person character and we can create a new custom event inside our third person character to spawn it. So I create a custom event, I'll call this damage spawn, we'll do spawn actor from class. This will be our F, F, A, we did damage, no, F, S. I'm not sure what we had named that. Let's, I'll just quickly check that. F, S, master field. So just select that for transform. Take the mesh and do get socket transform. This will be your head socket. Connect that here. And also create a reference for this. And I'll name this damage actor. And just create another custom event which will be despawn damage so that it's not there permanently. So drag in your damage actor, right click it, convert to validated get and destroy the actor. After that, we can set it as null. That's it. Now inside your animation blueprint, you can just call damage spawn. So this is despawn damage. So, okay, I spelled it wrong. My bad. So damage spawn, and the next one will be your damage despawn. You can just copy paste this and do despawn. All right. Last 
let's call the montage on a tree. So I'll just do with Q for now, same thing. Just delete this. So we'll do montage, play montage, connect our mesh, and this will be ramp. All right. So see, so press Q. All right. Let's see if it works. Okay. It is not spawning anything. Oh, it did spawn, but it is quite late. So let's see why that happens. So let's open up our third person character and get this class. So open this up and here the activation type is delay. You can change it to on tick. And we do use tick and let's try that again. All right, it's a bit better. What I want is inside my montage, probably spawn this a bit earlier. I should. On it somewhere, let's say over here, and other thing, let's move this bit back. All right, next thing you can see when it breaks, it changes its color let's go ahead and fix that uh, so for that this is the material we need to use all right so a stupid of me i forgot so you can disable this show bone colors now. Let me just play. And if I do this, and as you can see, it works perfectly. So yeah, I had used this a long time ago and I completely slipped my mind. So yeah, mistakes can happen. So as you can see, now let's try it again. And yeah so i think that's fine so yeah works pretty well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video do leave a like and comment and please subscribe to my channel and, and do let me know what you guys want to see next so as you can see, certain times it doesn't work. You need to be a bit closer. All right. I got one another thing why it's not working. It can be because of that. Because we are just spawning it. So inside your third person, after you spawn over here, you need to attach actor to component and yeah socket name will be same as this and parent will be the mesh and snap snap and snap this is why it was not happening yeah this is way more natural as you can see perfect so yeah